right, back to video two, back to Duma Z, and back to where we left off. The cult of Duma Z was later spread to the Levant and to Greece, where he became known under the West Semitic name Adonis. The cult of Ishtar and Tammuz continued to thrive until the 11th century AD and survived in parts of Mesopotamia as late as the 18th century. Tammuz was mentioned by name in the book of Ezekiel and possibly alluded to in other passages from the Hebrew Bible. In the late 19th and early 20th century scholarship of religion, Tammuz was widely seen as the prime example of the archetypical dying and rising god. But the discovery of the full Sumerian text of Iniana's descent into the Midwestern century appeared to disprove the previous scholar assumption that the narrative ended with Dumazed's resurrection and instead revealed that it ended with Dumazed's death. However, rescue of Dumazed from the underworld was later found in the text Return of Dumazed, translated in 1963. There's a good god of shepherds and fertility, Iniana and Dumazed. The abode for heaven for half the year, Kerr for the other half. Uh, equivalent to Adonis in Greek and Tammuz in the east. I would say that's probably Persia. And up here we have the wiki visuals, and there's the same statue, and it says there Dumazed, Dumazed, later known by the alternative form Tammuz, is an ancient Mesopotamian god associated with shepherds. Now remember, so Dumazed is also the month of July. And uh, midsummer, so that's the changing, I guess, where he goes into the underworld or he's coming out of the underworld. Who is also the primary concert of the goddess Inanna, later known as Hishta in Sumerian mythology. Dumazad's sister was Gitztiana. Gistiana, also known as Gistiniana and Gistinaniana, is the ancient Sumerian goddess of agriculture, fertility, and dream interpretation. The so called heavenly grapevine. She is the sister of Dumazed and consort of Ningasida. Ningasida. And she is also the daughter of Enki and Nurosag. She shelters her brother when he is in the when he is being pursued by gala demons and mourns his death. After the demons drag him to curse, she eventually agrees to take his place. And yeah, and that's the month of July. On to the month of August. Utu, Utu, Utu. This is the article about the Mesopotamian sun god Utu. Shamush redirects here from the synagogue roll versus the Gabi. Gabi, also known as the Shamas or the Parnas or the Warden, is a beetle or sexton, a person who assists in the running of the synagogue services in some way. Hmm. Utu, Utu, later worshipped by the East, East Semitic Akkadian speaking Assyrians and Babylonians as Shamash, Asherian Hatran Aramak, was the ancient Mesopotamian sun god, god of justice, morality, and truth, and the twin of the Mesopotamian goddess Iniana, Ishtar in the Esso Babylonian language. The Queen of Heaven, Ishtar. The Queen of Heaven was a title given to a number of ancient sky goddesses worshipped throughout the ancient Mediterranean, 
Near East during ancient times, goddesses known to have been referred to by the title include Iniana, Anat, Isis, Nut, Astart, and possibly Asherah. Queen of Evans. His main temples, Hutu, Hutu's main temples were in the cities of Sippa and Larsa. He was believed to ride through the heavens in the sun chariot and see all things that happen in the day. He was the enforcer of divine justice. Divine judgment means the judgment of God or other supreme beings within a religion and was thought to aid those in distress. According to Sumerian mythology, he helped protect Dumuzet with the Gala, the Sumerian and ancient Mesopotamian religion. Gala were great demons or devils of the Mesopotamian underworld. So he helped protect Dumuzet with the demons tried to drag him to the underworld, and he appeared to the hero Zuzudra after the Great Flood. And in the Epic of Gilgamesh, he helps Gilgamesh defeat the ogre Humbaba. Humbaba was an ancient Mesopotamian, also spelled Huwaba, and surnamed the Terrible, was a monstrous giant of a memorial age raised by Utu, the sun. Umbaba was the guardian of the cedar forest where the gods lived. By the will of God in Leo, who assigned Umbaba as a terror to humans, I guess. So, that's Utu, Utu for July, and the wiki visual shows us Utu, the sun god, Shamash, god of justice, morality, and truth. Here's a representation of the Shamash from the Tablet of Shamash, showing him sitting on his throne, dispensing justice while clutching a rod and ring symbol. All these gods have this rod and ring. I, I don't know what it symbolizes, but if you notice all the statutes, they all carry that rod and ring. It's uh, uncanny. Anyway, Utu, later worshipped by East Semitic Akkadian speaking Assyrians and Babylonians, as Shamash was the ancient Mesopotamian sun god, god of justice, morality, and truth, and the twin of the Mesopotamian goddess Inanna. So he was the twin of Ishtar. <laughs> Go figure, eh? Ishtar is the Assyrio-Babylonian language, the Queen of Heaven. Its main temples were in the cities of Sippar and Larsa. He was believed to ride through the heavens on a sun chariot and deliver divine justice. So that is the month of August, Utu. So now we're into September. Ishtar, Yana. 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 Take that one back there. We go to Yana right here. Yana. Yana is an ancient Mesopotamian goddess associated with love, beauty, sex, war, justice, and political power. No wonder everybody worships Ishtar. And she's placed at the opening of the, the harbor of New York there. Lady Liberty. And she was originally worshipped in Sumer under the name Yana and was later worshipped by the Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians under the name of Ishtar. She was known as the Queen of Heaven and was the patron goddess of the Iana temple of the city of Uruk, where, which was her main cult center. She was associated with the planet Venus, and her most prominent symbols included the lion and the eight-pointed star. 
Her husband was the god Dumazed, known as Tumas, and her suckle, her personal attendant, was the Ninshubar. Ninshubar was the suckle of, or second in command of the goddess Iniana in Sumerian mythology. Her name means Queen of the East. In ancient Sumerian, much like Iris or Hermes in later Greek mythology, Ninshubar served as a messenger to the other gods. It was the goddess Ninshubar who later became the male deity Papsasuko. Papsasuko is the messenger god. Hmm. Iniana was worshipped in Sumer at least as early as the Uruk period from 4000 BC to 3100 BC. But she had little cult prior to conquest of Sargon of Akkad, 4000 BC to 3100 BC, so she lived a hundred years, 900 years. Chimoli. Prior to the conquest of Sargon of Akkad, Sargon of Akkad, also known as Sargon the Great, was the first ruler of the Akkadian Empire known for his conquest of the Sumerian city states in the 24th 23rd centuries he is sometimes identified as the first person to record history hmm. prior to this during the post sargonic era she became one of the most widely venerated deities in the sumerian pantheon and with the temple across mesopotamia the cult of indian ashtar which may have been associated with a variety of sexual rights. Sexual rights. Sexual rights falls into two categories, cultural created and natural behavior. The human animal having developed sexual rights from evolutional instincts for reproduction, which are then integrated into society and elaborated to include aspects such as marriage rights, dances, etc. All right, with a variety of sexual rights was continued by the East Semitic speech